quantum activism is this, it's, it's, it's a simple idea as an idea. It begins with the idea that we, we, we know that quantum comes to us with three basic principles that, that, that exist latent in everybody. And we, we also have used it in our, in our childhood. Mm -hmm. And they are uh, non-locality mm -hmm. and interconnectedness that is, that is automatic for each one of us if, mm -hmm. we, if we know how to access it. This continuous movement, it's also available in each one of us mm -hmm. if we know how to access it. And tangled hierarchical uh, relationship mm -hmm. so that the tangled hierarchy of our real self is tangled hierarchical mm -hmm. so that we don't get lost in our ego separateness simple hierarchy can, can regain the tangled hierarchical self that we really are. Mm -hmm. And we can do that best in, in relationship to another person. Mm -hmm. So uh, these three quantum principles, if we can bring them to transform us, because if we start using them, what happens? I become more tuned to non-local consciousness. Mm -hmm. I become more tuned to the supramental because I'm constantly taking leave mm -hmm. from the vital and the mental. Mm -hmm. As we just discussed, we can even rejuvenate ourselves completely mm -hmm. by taking such quantum leaps in the vital domain. And in the mental domain, of course, I can create brain circuits for behavior which would uh, keep me as a happy person more or less continuously. Mm -hmm. And tangled hierarchy in relationship, who doesn't see the potential of that? Mm -hmm. That will change our society completely. So in this way, we, know, we change ourselves and our society by using this quantum principle is the idea of quantum activism. Now, if we look at our society, if we look at our culture, the barriers come. Barriers not only exist for us, mm -hmm. we have a lot of reluctance, a lot of defects, a lot of inertia that we have built up. Mm -hmm. um, so that keeps us away from transformation using the quantum principles. And similarly, society also has much inertia uh, today, we cannot even get a job which will give me uh, uh, relaxed time. Mm -hmm. Leisure time has become the most costly thing because people now have to, you know, in advanced countries, people need two, three jobs in order to uh, make the ends meet, so to speak. Exactly. And uh, there is no sign of change in this. We have somehow um, raised the standard of living such that to meet the cost of such standard, uh, people have to have so many jobs that leisure mm -hmm. time is something that everybody is giving up. Mm -hmm. And our technology likewise, for example, you know, my f favorite um, subject of griping is the cell phone and so much of preoccupation with computers because they take away time so surreptitiously. They're such habit forming things. They take away our privacy, they take away our leisure time before we have even known it. Mm -hmm. They're poisonous things, but we are using them. So the culture itself fosters behavior in this way that we lose the B time. Remember, creativity has two things, do and be. Mm -hmm. This culture encourages do, but there no. is no time for be. Yeah, no space for And that. how do we bring the being time back, leisure time back? This is the, so we have to be activists also in our social institutions. We have to be activists. And, and, and activism is required to tell people, learn to attention, uh, learn to give attention to the body, learn your chakras, mm -hmm. relate with your heart chakra open, you know, simple training. But mm -hmm. we can teach it to each other. We can make that as part of activism. Activism mm -hmm. uh, can be used, of course, for political ends, and we do need political leaders, but that's not the only use of it. This is a much more subtle and much more profound use of activism. We teach each other. And then my real vision is that when we uh, start using the quantum principles en masse, using the quantum non-locality principle, then we create our brain circuits in a collective way. Mm -hmm. What then happens, following some ideas from Rupert Sheldrake, is that these morphogenetic fields that are generated in a collective way can be inherited in the future by all of humanity. Okay. And then the entire humanity can become transformed. I have uh, elaborated this idea much more in my book, Creative Evolution, which is coming out in October. Um, but, the, but basically, this is the kind of thing that is within our capacity mm -hmm. if we allow ourselves to become quantum activists. So spread uh, these principles of non-locality, discontinuity, tangled hierarchy in all the layers of the society. All the layers of the this society is... while using it ourselves. Because and, we and must exemplify too. it. Yeah, first ourselves. Yeah. 
And, and if we look now uh, more closely to this integrative medicine, and I think the, the project of the quantum healer license fit very well in yes. this idea of quantum activity. Yes, it does, because the, it, mm -hmm. it, it inspires one to use the principles for oneself and also with others. This is quantum healer license is a real exemplification of quantum activism in the area of healing. Mm -hmm. It's uh, time has come and I'm so grateful that you took the initiative of starting a university which will initiate an educational system, an entire course of studies that people can undertake, people can understand these principles, they become a quantum healer for themselves and for others. It's Thank wonderful. Thank you very much. I'd like to add also the fact that, uh, you know, as you said, there is a resistance in the layers of society. When we think about the fact of quantum medicine, all the gift of the quantum medicine, but at this time, if you are a professional with license, you will not be allowed to use them because it doesn't fit with your uh, how your board design you know uh, your your room of practice and if you are non licensed then you cannot uh, use uh, the, the the consciousness for healing so quantum healer license in a way create you know a, a, a possibility <laughs> yes. that this uh, gift to to medicine could, uh, could be expressed. Yeah, know. will be available also to people who already have a license to heal in other ways. Absolutely. This, they, this license will free them to use quantum healing in addition, mm -hmm. officially, in other words, officially in addition to their regular license for healing. And it is, the time has come, it is needed. And when society needs something, movement of consciousness will create opportunities. Mm. And this is why you and I are talking at this time uh, in, in, in this particular place. Hmm. Thank you so much. And I, and I thank you personally, because for me, it's, it's, a, it's a real enlightenment. Uh, and I thank you for every of my students, everybody that will have the opportunity to listen at this uh, incredible uh, gift that you have done to your work you and this your life, because it's the, it's the result of a life work. Thank you very much. Thank you.